Hello everyone, my name is John. Thanks for joining me today on Stubble Meat Steel. Today I wanted to talk about face lathering, how to properly face lather, and why do we face lather. When I first started getting into DE shaving, I was not getting the best shaves. I was having issues, my face would be really dry, I'd get a lot of skin irritation after, and quite frankly I didn't really see what all the hype was about. I was actually just using King of Shaves gel, uh, I found that that was working better for me. So I said, I, I gotta be missing something. There's gotta be something to this. I've gotta be doing something wrong. So my buddy kept uh, insisting that I, I pursue on and that uh, I'm doing something wrong. So, you know, I, I kept trying. And what I found was I was not hydrating my soap enough and I was not getting enough cushion. If you're not adding enough water to your soap, it's not gonna build up enough cushion to protect your face and you're not gonna get the slickness, the potential that that particular soap provides. And that's what I found was the key that I was missing. And I noticed guys like Tim Shaves or Double Y, man, they were lathering forever. And I'm like, I don't really lather nearly that long. And a couple of clients that watched the channel mentioned to my wife, they're like, why does he lather so long? And so I, I felt like I really needed to go into some, some details because I feel that it's really important. And uh, I agree with Matt from Razor Emporium. Why spend all that time lathering in a bowl when you can be working it into your face? One of the main purposes of a brush is to be lifting those hairs up and you're also getting some exfoliating effect, especially if you have a, a heavy backbone brush. But I feel if I'm putting something on my face or on my skin, the longer it's on there, the more it's gonna hydrate, the more it's gonna make the skin feel good. So by doing a face lather, the lather is on your face and the soap is on your face that much longer that it has the potential to soften the hair. You're working it in, you're lifting those hairs up so that they're gonna be easier to get cut. And I feel overall, I just get a more consistent lather. I found that when I would lather in a bowl and transfer to my face, sometimes it would kind of flatten out and I just wasn't, I never really got the best shaves doing it from a bowl. And then when uh, I started learning how to hydrate properly, that uh, that's when I really started getting not only good shaves, but consistently good shaves. So let's go ahead and uh, give you a demo here as to what I do. I went with Razor Rocks Motherfucker soap. I wanted to go with the cheaper soap to show that you can get a great lather without a bowl, with a cheap brush, with a cheap soap, and you can get not only a good shave, but you can build a, a great lather. So what I like to do Didn't get the best shot there. I go ahead and get the brush wet. I just saturate it under the faucet here. And then as you can see, the water runs out. I basically will just let the water go like that until the water runs out, stops dripping. And then I do, and then I slap it down about three times. And I find that that's a really good combo. And then I'm gonna put the camera downward to try to get into the puck here. One of the keys that I find is, one, I hold it sideways. I saw somebody saying that that's kind of a key to help it drive into the bristles of the brush. I personally find that if I have a brush that's uh, 28 or 30 mil, if I go ahead and load for 11 seconds, that's enough. But this is a little bit of a smaller knot, so we'll go ahead and load more. And if you notice, I kind of like, there's a little bit of moisture. See how it kind of just dripped out there? And that's kind of the perfect amount that I'm looking for. I want a little bit of water to come out of there, but not much to where it's pouring out at a fast rate. You can always start off drier. I find that you're almost better to start off a little bit drier and add water slowly when you're first starting. But once you kind of get it down, I find that you're better to almost kind of be on that threshold of a little bit too wet. The lather will pop a lot quicker and you won't have to work so hard to get a good lather going. So let's just load for another few more seconds here. All right, we can wet our face down. You can either do it by hand. I like this little spray bottle. Then we're just gonna paint it on, building our base, so to speak. Find it works good if I go against the grain of the hair. It really picks into the picks up into the hairs well that way. Okay, so now we got a pretty good base. It's nice and thick and pasty, and that's kind of what we want is that consistency there. You can see it's not volumized yet, but it's not watery and bubbly or anything either. So now what we do is we push down 
to do what's called splaying the brush. And you see how the brush spreads out or splays as it's called? Now what we're doing is we're releasing both more soap from the brush and more water. All right, and we're pretty dry there because normally it would start popping pretty good. So you can take a couple of, some guys will do this and just kind of drop a few drops on there. You can run the water of the faucet, just a really small light stream. And then what you're gonna do is paint that water that you put on the brush into the lather. And basically we're doing exactly what you think. We're hydrating the soap. By adding water to it, that's what's gonna get it to pop into a nice, thick, cushion-filled, slick lather. We're still very dry here, so we're gonna add some more water with the spray bottle. And you'll see, now that I've added some water, see how it's starting to build as I splay the brush? It's because we've started to hydrate it. And then as the lather builds, you kind of paint that lather that you're building around because lather begets more lather. Now, truth be told, you could just shave with this, but I feel that we're just starting to unlock the magic of the soap and that we can definitely put some more water in. So that's what we just did. I really like the spray bottle. A lot of guys just do the drip method or under the sink. I find it's always hard to get the faucet to do that tiny little trickle. So I've been using the spray bottle and I really kind of like it. Just makes it simple and easy. Always got it on hand. Water lasts a long time in the bottle. You don't have to fill it often. I saw a couple different guys using it. And once I started, I really liked it. So now that's pretty good. See, what happens is as you add more water, you get what's called cushion. And what that means is if you take the soap between your fingers and go like this, you can literally feel that there's a layer between your two fingers. And that's what you want because that means that when you're gonna be shaving with it, it's gonna be that cushion, as it's called, layer between the blade and your face. Double-edged razor shaving definitely requires more cushion in my experience than a cheap little cartridge razor. So that's really why you want the cushion. And I found that it wasn't until I really started hydrating my soaps and really working with it for a while, that's when I really started getting good shaves. My face felt hydrated instead of dry and irritated after. And don't be afraid to play around in the beginning as far as how many seconds you load the brush how much water you start adding, and play around a little bit till you kind of get it down. Each soap is gonna act a little different. Each brush is gonna act a little bit different. And truth be told, I probably would have already started shaving, but I just wanted to show what happens when we keep adding water. And you can see that not only can this soap take a lot of water, but you keep adding more volume more volume, more density, and more cushion. Now, yes, of course you can add too much water, but truth be told, I've never actually even done it. I don't, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but you'd really have to get carried away for that to happen in my opinion. I find it's much easier to do that in the start by adding too much water versus slowly, gradually adding water. And then you see how we've got this nice Volume, volume of soap built up, we have nice cushion. When I slap the brush down, I feel soap. I don't even feel my face right now. It's just basically a thick layer of cushion that I've built up to provide a nice, slick, cushioned shave. Everything is well lifted and hydrated, both the soap and my face now. And I wanted to show that with not my favorite brush, not my favorite soap, that I can still get it done and that anybody can build up a nice, great face lather. When you first start, start with a small amount of water and slowly add up. 
once you kind of get a little better with it. Like I said, I find that there's that sweet spot of almost adding too much water and boy, you'll just, after you hit that first layer of base on and you splay the brush, it'll just pop. And sometimes I don't even need to add water. I get the mixture just right, especially with those bigger brushes. And that's really all there is to it. If you load the brush enough, there should be more than enough for a good three or even four passes in here. And then I just put the remaining on the brush at the end of my shave on my face and I leave that on there. So that way when I'm cleaning up, it's just hydrating and soaking into my face. And I find that that's the key to a great post shave for me personally. So that's how I personally do it guys. And for what it's worth, we have extremely hard water here. I find that I literally have to replace my kitchen faucets about every two years because I don't have a water softener system. And the water is so hard that the calcium and minerals build up in the uh, faucets and the appliances that quickly. So it's not that we have great water here either. Keep practicing at it and uh, you too can have a sweet Santa Claus beard. And uh, I uh, would be shocked to find that if you don't moisturize and hydrate everything really well that you'll get some of the best shaves that you've ever had. I urge everybody that's a bowl person that lathers in a bowl to try a face lather and see what you think of it. I think that I personally find for me and my skin type that it's a superior shave and a superior experience. So that's it everybody for today's face lather. I hope you learned a little something today. I hope I made your journey of wet shaving a little bit easier and I uh, hope you join me for the next episode. If you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.